Hello. I just updated my altar. I moved it. And I wanted to give a little mini tour of my altar, which I consider to be this whole space, including my guitar and my drawing desk. And yeah. But first, I just want to briefly show some of this Halloween shit happening over here because, fuck yeah, we got some frankincense incense burning. Everything else is pretty much the same. We got a cute motherfucker just right here. We've got a cute motherfucker. And my dresser's now here. And it's a, it's a little awkward now because I have just like a record player that I don't know how to use with an alarm clock awkwardly placed on top of it. All my crystals stuffed into this tiny area. And then this weird ass cat thing I got from the thrift store. <laughs> okay. Altar tour. I fucking love it. So it's a little bit Halloween themed, of course, because it's October, the best fucking month of the whole year. So I've got this cute ass skeleton thing. Um, this is my jade egg that I got from Layla Martin. Highly recommend her YouTube channel and her work in general. It's just a tiger's eye pyramid that I recently got while walking along in New York City. I came across a lovely little table where a girl was selling crystals. Wait, let me turn this thing on. This is just a grocery store cute ass decoration, like paper lantern thing. So we got two leaves. This leaf landed upon my path in New York City. This leaf I got on my path from Garrett Mountain. Um, got a little Halloween corner over here with those cute ass little Halloween charms. And then in the mid, oh, hold on. 100% that witch fall candle. And then this cute little Halloween container. I put a tea light candle. This middle part is to honor like animals and like I'm a vegan and I'm getting into vegan activism so I wanted a space to honor that on my altar. To honor the animals, like especially pigs. I have a few pigs. Let's get this back for a sec. Because I've just been really deeply emotionally moved by the footage of pigs in particular and their suffering. So I wanna like honor them in a special way, you know? So I have these two crystal pigs. And then another little pig, these little glass things I got randomly from like the post office and that includes these Halloween ones over here. But these ones are just animals. We got a duck, a pig, chicken slash rooster, a turkey, and an elephant. I wanted to choose like these four, not the elephant, these, because they're usually food animal victims and I want to honor them. And then the animal spirit tarot, or the animal spirit deck is my favorite deck in the whole world and I have like five or six decks and this is just like absolutely amazing. I feel so connected to that deck. And the reason I got it is because my favorite YouTuber, Caitlin Nicholson, has it and has for a while. And I just feel like I just love this deck so much. So that's the only deck I have on my actual altar. This little jewelry box is pretty cute. This little cardinal charm I got from the same place as the glass animals. And it came with this little thing that said that it was a charm to help you find your life song. And I thought that was just so appropriate. So this is like a little music section right here. I have like just these guitar earrings that I thought were cute. But I wanna quickly open this up. I have some very special picks inside that are from some of my favorite bands like Red Sun Rising, Seether, In Heart's Wake, um, Trivium. 
periphery. Um, yeah, love it. Um, and then these two little stones that have musical notes on them. Treble clef and a musical note. Um, guitar picks. These are actually the only two guitar picks I own. I have another one of these green ones and it's under my bed and I just have not gotten around to digging it out. And I threw on a couple pencils and a paintbrush to honor art because I hadn't been as connected with drawing or art since art school disappointed the hell out of me. And I'm bringing it to my altar. And that's part of why I wanted to include my actual whole art desk with the altar space so that I could reconnect with it and kind of take that passion back after school has really discouraged it. I think that's mostly there. And then this drawer, I just have some of my other decks. Um, my actual Book of Shadows, which is super fucking cool. I got this on Etsy. Sketchbook, actually. Might as well give a little mini tour of this. It's not that full right now. And it definitely could use some updating. Drawing of Sean Morgan, the singer of Seether. I did it on the back of a sushi menu at a restaurant back before I was vegan. Uh, so I had to do for homework one day, just like sketches of random things in my room. Oh man. Yep. We're not really friends anymore, but that's okay. Talented. Check out his band, Enochian. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's Kaylin. Shout out. Spencer Sotello and Taylor Momsen. Alice in Chains. Quite a witchy self-portrait, wouldn't you think? Whale. Yeah. Shitten. Just this was like a really quick sh drawing of Shitten. <clears throat> I think that's it. Yeah. Some pretty special stuff in there, actually. This is my new moon notebook. Every new moon I get it out and write down my manifestations in the present tense. I have, I feel, I am. Um, yeah, a couple other random things in there. Oh my god! This mini tarot is so adorable. And yes, I am a card-carrying member of the Nickelback fan club. <laughs> what do you want? Other decks. I love the moon deck especially. Um, let's put this back. Since I've showed you like a sketchbook, I think I might as well show you the drawing I'm currently working on, which uh -huh, I've neglected for well over a year, and I need to finish it really bad. But I'll I'll show you because I am quite proud of what it has on the page so far. This is a drawing of the band Caligula Horse. I have two more members to draw. And this is, I, I should probably tape this down into my sketchbook, but it's just a drawing of a baby calf with some information about 
what happens to poor baby calves in the dairy industry. So that's pretty much all my art supplies. Um, yeah. Very, very special things. And that is my altar area tour that I love so very much. Thanks for watching. Bye!